Toyota Motor Philippines has just unveiled the all-new Toyota WeGo here at Trinoma Mall. And this car right behind me is the top-spec G-Trim. Let's just explore what this new car has. So starting off the front, it's a completely new design. So you get different lights, you get LED headlights, even your DRLs on the bottom, they are LEDs. Even your grill, it still has that sort of flat design, but it looks a lot better now. Let's move towards the side of the vehicle, and you can see that you have 14-inch rims for this G-Trim. But don't worry, you get 14-inch wheels as standard. I say wheels because the base variant, while it still gets 14 inches, it's only steely, so it covers. Anyway, this G-Trim also gets repeaters on your side mirrors. For some of the safety features that the Toyota WeGo G has, you have a built-in dash cam or digital video monitor, and you also get two airbags, ABS, vehicle stability control, as well as traction control. For the rear, the all-new Toyota WeGo also gets a redesign, so you get sharper lines and creases at the back. You only get halogen tail lamps though, but they still did retain the WeGo and the G badge over here. You also get parking sensors, two of them, and a reverse camera, but only for this G trip. Now let's open up the tailgate, and space is still about the same as before. You even have this parcel cover, and surprisingly, if you lift up your false floor, you reveal a full-size spare tire. Inside the interior of the all-new WeGo, the most surprising thing that you'll find here is the inclusion of this 8-inch touchscreen. Well, you get this for the G and the mid-spec eChim, and this even comes with wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Plus. Remember, if you do get this G-Trim, you even get a reverse camera. The steering wheel on the G-Trim also gets buttons on it, and it is also tilt adjustable. Your instrument cluster is also slightly new, so it has a more updated look. You even have a small screen there by the side. Now, moving towards the center, you have push button start, and you also get manual but digital AC controls. Move below that, get cup holders, you have a 12 volt outlet, and you have a shifter for your new CVT, which we'll talk about later. The seats, they also have these nice patterns on it, and it really is pretty surprising how a car of this class gets really aggressive bolsters. These seats really do hug you in place. Now, for the powertrain, the all new Toyota WeGo maintains the 1.0 liter three cylinder naturally aspirated gasoline engine, making 67 horsepower and 89 Newton meters of torque. But now your transmission options are a little bit different. While you still maintain the five seat manual for the base model, you now get a CVT for the E and the G variants, ditching the older four speed automatic. Now we move on to the mid trim E trim. So this one, just like G, you still get your LED headlights, your LED DRLs, and you have the exact same wheel design. But the biggest change that you'll see here is your wing mirrors. They no longer get those repeaters right here, but that's not just it. These mirrors, they are also manually adjustable. That is quite ridiculous for 2023, but yeah, that's what you have right here. Towards the back of the mid-trim E-trim, and well, you lose out on that mini spoiler too. But you still do retain your rear wiper and reversing sensors, but you lose out on your reverse camera. Inside the E-trim, you have a different set of seats. So your headrests are no longer adjustable. The patterns on it, instead of being white, you now have them in red. And while you still do get that eight inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you lose out on your reverse camera. Go down below and you lose out also on your digital air conditioning system. Said you have these manual knobs, but you still do get your 12 volt outlet, your cup holders, your parking brake, the regular one, your CVT shifter, as well as the buttons on your steering wheel, plus the adjustments for tilt for your steering wheel. Additionally, you no longer get your push button start and you also lose out on two speakers. So instead of having four with the G-Trim, you only have two. Finally, we move on over to the base J manual trim. And this car still gets LED headlights. On the side of the vehicle, you still get 14 inch wheels. That's because you don't get 14 inch rims. You just get steelies with covers on them. And the wing mirrors, just like the mid-trim E-Trim, they are still manually adjustable. At the rear of the J manual trim, the most interesting thing that you'll see here is Toyota decided to ditch the rear wiper. And together with the ditching of the rear wiper is the ditching of the rear windshield washer sprayer. I mean, there is no wiper to wipe that. Also, you don't get a J badge, which so just says we go unlike the G and the E. Finally, you don't even get reverse sensors and no reverse camera either. The interior of the G manual trim, well, it's as basic as it gets. Your steering wheel, well, it's not leather wrapped. You don't even have adjustments, not even for tilt, but 
the rest is almost pretty similar aside from this shifter which obviously it is a manual shifter and you also lose out on that touchscreen instead you have this very basic head unit with well there is at least a usb port also i want to tell you that the seats inside the j and the e trim they are just like the g trim manually adjustable but you can't raise them up by height so only the g trim gets manually height adjustable driver seats one thing i forgot to mention is that the all new toyota wego is slightly bigger compared to before and that really does translate to the space here at the second row seats first of all i find that the seats almost immediately to be a little bit more comfortable there seems to be a little bit more padding and the space is truly bigger not just for leg room but also for headroom i also really like how there is this center seat belt that goes all the way from the top Prices for the all-new Toyota Wego start at 609,000 pesos for the base model J manual trim. And if you go up to the E trim, you get it at 684,000 pesos. Finally, if you do move up to the top spec G trim, you can get it for 729,000 pesos.